Hey, Rose here with another online dating tip for you. Okay, so my last video where I was talking about um, the reasons why I went on a dating site looking for a white man. Okay, so uh, that video has been received with mixed reactions. Um, I suppose the people who are watching uh, my videos here on YouTube don't really understand my content. So, um, but I just want to say because I saw comments where people said, well, um, you know, dating apps are scams, uh, you know, you need help, you're sick, why would you go specifically on a dating app looking for a white man? Okay, so uh, let's first talk about dating apps being uh, scams. Uh, the thing is, yes, of course, there are a lot of people who join these dating apps or, you know, for the sole purpose of you know scamming people uh, we've seen a lot of people losing their their livelihood especially old people you know elderly people uh, lonely people uh, people who have lost their loved ones and then maybe they're like i'm gonna go on a, on this website and see if i can find somebody maybe just somebody to talk to and there are people who take advantage of uh, these people so yes of course there are a lot of scammers on dating apps but for me i would like to to look at it from a different perspective there are a lot of african women who would like to meet people uh, outside their race outside their culture people from different countries but because africa being an african is very difficult for you to get a visa to visit places where you can meet such people then of course the dating app offers you an opportunity to actually meet someone Okay, so um, a lot of African women take these dating apps uh, very seriously, although I keep discouraging them from taking them so seriously because obviously uh, a lot of uh, people from these countries where they are looking for, for men are not really taking dating apps so seriously. So my content is, is mainly about educating African women, uh, you know, talking to them about interracial dating and uh, not necessarily you know uh, selling them fear or you know sort of like frightening them but m rather to prepare them for for interracial relationships for long distance relationships because uh, this is something that personally i have gone through and, and i can share my, my tips with them um so <laughs> no i don't need help uh, I, I am perfectly fine uh, and I don't think there was anything wrong with me doing what I did. The only issue is that uh, the only thing that is wrong with that is going specifically to look for people of a certain race. Uh, that I think was not a good idea. And of course, I said that I learned that very quickly and I, I decided I'm just going to be open for love. So, yes, initially when I joined the dating app, I was one of those who are like, yes, I'm looking for a white man. <laughs> but then, of course, afterwards, I realized that, that um, I should just be open for love. And as I said, I did meet someone. I did meet an African-American man and we ended up filing for K-1 visa. And I did go to the U.S. Uh, with the purpose of getting married but things didn't work out and we didn't get married and i went back to my country so i'm not saying that i'm this person who is uh, you know who is still so obsessed with white people and um for me i i think love is love like if you find somebody who loves you respects you appreciates you um you know somebody you can enjoy life with it's not really about the race it's not about the race but unfortunately uh, a lot of our young African women are getting on dating sites looking specifically for white men. <laughs> that is why I'm, I'm making these videos and I will continue talking to them and, and showing them that, uh, you know, having a white man does not necessarily guarantee you a, a happy life, a loving life, a romantic life, you know, uh, a good relationship. Uh, but rather ending up with the right person, whether it's a white man, whether it's an Asian man, whether it's an African man. Uh, it's all about meeting the right person and meeting somebody who loves you. So guys, please take it easy on me on YouTube. I am, I am not what you think I am. Uh, I am not uh, campaigning for, for what you think I'm campaigning for. Uh, I'm not sick at all. I don't need help. Uh, I am okay. I am 
Uh, but I, I also want people to understand that, yes, indeed, these dating apps, some of them do, there are a lot of relationships that have been uh, as a result of dating apps. A lot of people have met on dating apps, okay? You look at uh, okay, Cupid, Afro Introductions, International Cupid, Interracial Cupid, all these dating apps are apps that African women and men are using to meet singles from uh, around the world. And if you look at Afro Introductions, the reason why that app was created is because African, we, uh, African you know, just African people did not have a, a place where they can just go there and meet singles from around the world. Okay? So, yes, these apps do work. Yes, they do have a lot of scammers. You have to be very careful uh, when you're dealing with people that you meet online. You should definitely not be giving your personal information to people you just meet online. You should not be sending money to people that you just meet online. Um, but yes, indeed, you can meet and speak to people, real and genuine people on dating apps. So um, I hope this uh, clears the air. <laughs> I, I hope uh, my, my content will be understood. My content is about online dating and of course online dating uh, is about people meeting mainly on dating apps. Okay. And uh, I concentrate so much on, on interracial dating because a lot of African women who are going on dating apps, they are going there because they are looking to date outside their race. Okay? The majority of African women are going on dating apps looking for somebody outside their race. Although there are some who are there just looking for, um, not necessarily for white people, but they are looking for people outside the continent you know they are looking for people from europe people from america from canada from australia just from outside the continent so um i hope my content will find the right people i hope my niche will find me here on youtube uh, because when i started this niche on tiktok uh, I, uh people were able to, to find me and my content was found by people who uh, understand it uh, but please don't take offense, like don't be offended by, uh, by things that I'm discussing on this YouTube channel because um, it's just me trying to educate our young African women, okay? And I am going to be as open and as honest as I can. I'm going to be sharing my own personal experiences, um, my own experiences with dating apps, uh, my own experiences with interracial relationship and things like that. So thank you so much. Um, my name is Rose. I am at Rose Blogger on all social media platforms. Please follow me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if this is the kind of content that you would like to see. Uh, as I said, it's all about online dating, interracial dating, and also life abroad. If, if you're like somebody who is planning to move abroad, we can talk about that. I also have experience with a few visa applications. We also talk about visa applications, like K-1 visa, that is something that I know about. Uh, visas to Europe, like spouse of visa, uh, a family reunion visa to join your spouse in Europe. That is something I know about. Uh, visitors visa, Schengen visa. Those are things that I have experienced and we can talk about. Okay, so if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. If this is not your thing, um, I respect you. Thank you so much for, <laughs> for stopping by. Uh, but if this is not your thing, I respect that too. And <laughs> thank you. And bye-bye. I'll see you on my next one.